Call Halai Lami Hau, by Shimmy of a Shah, by Shimmy Kakadash, Brakadai Hau, Brakadai Hau Shai, Brakadai Hau, Brakadai Hau Shai, Brakadai Hau, Brakadai Hau Shai. Call Halai Lam, all praises be to the Most High, Yahweh. The name of our Father, our Creator in ancient Hebrew, ignorantly referred to as God, Bahashem, in the name of Yahweh Shai, the name of our Lord and Savior, Harak, our Redeemer, in ancient Hebrew, Hebrew. Ignorant, they call Jesus. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Blessed be Yahweh, blessed be Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone who rule well, who taught, who teach this gospel and teach this gospel to me and help me to understand it, who go out to the highways and the hedges, pursuant to Luke 14, 23 and Matthew 22 and 9, pushing this gospel to the four corners of the earth, risking their lives and freedom to do so. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, for this is the Sabbath. Shalom, greetings, peace be unto you. I want to do a little quick video today about the letter J. Letter J, as you see on the screen here, according to Google, I typed in when was the letter J added to the English language. Um, the letter J was added in 1524. Both I and J were used interchangeably between scribes to express the sound of both the vowel and the consonant of uh, uh it wasn't until 1524 when Gian Giorgio Trisiano, Trisino Salaki, an Italian Renaissance grammarian known as the father of the letter J, made a clear distinction between the two sounds. So I also want to point out that the letter J was created and its sound interchangeably between I and J in 1524. Okay. Um, if we go into the Blue Letter Bible, you begin to notice Revelation 9 and 1. Let's go up to the mother precept. John 5 and 2 says, Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which it is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. Acts 21 40. And when he had given him license, Paul stood on the stairs and beckoned with the hand unto the people. And when there was made a great silence, he spake unto them in the Hebrew tongue. Acts 22 and 2, and when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue to them, they kept the more silence. Acts 26, 14, and when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice unto me saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Now in that scripture, in Acts 26, 14, Saul heard a voice from heaven in the Hebrew tongue. So the most high God of Israel was speaking to Saul in the Hebrew tongue. That's the Hebrew language, okay? Revelation 9, 1, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek has his name Apollon. That scripture refers to Satan, Abaddon, um, the spiritual demon Satan. Revelation 16, 16, and he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. So Armageddon is a Hebrew word. Okay, now let's go to um, Genesis 11 and 1, right quick. Genesis 11 and 1. Genesis 11 and 1, and this is before the Tower of Babel. The Genesis chapter 11 speaks about the Tower of Babel, and this is where the Lord came down. The Lord power came down to confuse the languages. At this time, the people of the earth were speaking one language, one language, one tongue, and that was Hebrew. Genesis 11, 1, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Okay, at that time, Hebrew, when the, when, 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 when the enemies of the Lord, when our enemies began to build the Tower of Babel, they were rebuilding a tower, also pursuant to Isaiah 14, chapter 14, verse 12. They were, they were building a tower to reach into heaven. They wanted, to, they wanted to build a tower so that they could be above the stars of God, okay, which is Israel, okay. And um, and the stars are pursuant to Revelation 120 represent the seven angels, the angels of the seven churches. The, the, for, for, so, and let's get that right quick. Revelation 120. We want to prove everything that we say. Okay. Um. Okay. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand. And the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. And the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Okay. So at this time in Genesis 11 and 1. Um, the earth was of one language, one speech. 
and that language was Hebrew. Okay, and then the Most High God of Israel came down and, and destroyed the tower that they were building and confused all the languages. So he gave the Greeks their language. He gave all the people of the earth different languages so that they could, they could no longer communicate with each other to continue to build this tower. Okay, now we know according to the Bible there are 18 nations upon the earth and all these nations have 18 major languages. Now there are dialects coming out of each language. That's why different nations speak different languages, okay? But in the beginning, there was only one language. Now, if we go into the, um, if we go into the Apocrypha right quick, the Apocrypha, um, as you can see on your screen, 1611 version of the Bible, we can go into the Apocrypha right quick, and one thing you'll notice is everywhere that the letter J was used, Jesus, there's an I there, okay? Um, let's go into, uh, Luke. Okay. We can go into the New Testament. Okay. Um, let's see if we can find it here. Okay. And this is old, archaic English. In fact, let's do something a little easier. Okay. Let's do something a little easier here. Okay, if I try to type in the word Jew, as in J-E-W-S, okay, this is 1611 version of the Bible, as you can see, nothing comes up, okay, because in 1611 there was no letter J, again, as we saw earlier, the letter J was created in 1524, now, this Bible, the our, our Torah, our Torah was written way before that. In fact, Daniel lived somewhere somewhere between 500 and 600 years before um, before the anointed came, before Yahweh came on the scene. Ignorantly called Jesus came on the scene. So as you can see, there is no letter there. In fact, let's type in. Now, when we type in the letter, let's type in I-E-W-E-S. Notice how I have it on the screen, I, okay? You'll see now, that word will come up in scriptures. Why? Because that was the letter at the time. Okay. As you can see there. 2 Kings 16 and 6. At the time, Rezin, king of Syria, recovered Eloth to Syria and drave the I-E-W-E-S. Okay. We turned it today in the English language. We, uh, we pronounce that as Jews from Eloth. And Syrians came to Eloth. And dwelt there until this day. Okay. Let's look at 2 Kings 18.26. Let's go there. Okay. Then said Eliakim, the son of Hakiah and Shebniah. And look at that. I-O-A-H. That's Joah. Unto Rabshakeh, speak, I pray thee, to the servants in the Syrian language. For we understand it and talk not with us. That V is a, is a U in archaic English. Us. In the I-E-W-E-S. Jews language. In the ears of the people that are on the wall. So as you can see. The letter J was not created until 1524. So what did they call the son of man. Yahweh Shai. The, the Lord, our Lord. Our, our rock. Our redeemer. Back then. Before that time. What was he called in what was he calling 1300? If the letter J wasn't created yet. What did they call him? Okay, let's go to Proverbs 30 and 4 right quick. Proverbs 30 and 4. Okay. Proverbs 30 and 4. Proverbs 30 and 4. Proverbs 30 and 4. 30 and 4. Okay. Proverbs 30 and 4. And it reads. Um, let's go back to Proverbs 30 and 2. Surely I am more brutish than any man. And have not the understanding of a man. I neither learn wisdom. Nor have the knowledge of the holy. Who has ascended up into heaven. Or descended. Who has gathered the wind in his fists. Who has bound the waters in a garment. Who has established all the ends of the earth. 
what is his name, comma, and what is his son's name, if you can tell. Wow. This scripture would not be in the Torah if Jesus and God were his name. Wouldn't even be there. But that scripture is written there because obviously Jesus and God are not his name. Okay? But we all know that Esau, Edom, Idumia was the ones that, that, that changed stuff in the Bible. They took away things and they, and they added things. How do we know that? Revelation 22, 18 and 19 tells us so. Let's go there right quick. Let's go there right quick. Come on, Revelation 22. That's just for Revelation 22. Okay. Revelation 22, 18 and 19 states, and uh, uh, some people, this you see the heading there is the final message. Okay. Some Bibles, it has a final warning. Some KJ, K, King James Version Bibles, it says a final warning right before you go into these two scriptures. 22, 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophets of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And we know the plagues to be the nuclear missiles coming down out of World War III, okay, uh, which is fastly approaching, okay. 22.19, if any man shall take away from the words of the prophets of this book, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things that are written in this book. Okay, so as you can see, that you can see right then and there that um, the, the people who, who own, who had the pub, people who had the publishing rights, people who published the Bibles, people who copied the Bibles, who was that? Esau, Edom, Idumia. They're the ones that added and took away things from this Bible. Okay. As you can see in the Apocrypha here. As you can see here in the Apocrypha, I had to check my time. I couldn't find my little icon on my, on my screen. As you can see in the Apocrypha here. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back to the Apocrypha. The, the King James Version Bible. This is the 1611 version as you see in uh, at the top of your screen. Um, we have the... The Tanakh, or the Old Testament here, as you see on your screen. Then we go into the New Testament, or the Greek Testament. There's nothing new about it. The Greek Testament is a summary of the Old Testament. There's nothing new about it. <laughs> you know? And then we have these other books. First Ezra, Second Ezra, Tobit, Judith, Addition to Esther, Wisdom of Solomon, Ecclesiasticus, uh, uh, better known as Sirach, um, Baruch, Letter of Jeremiah, Prayer of Azaria, Susanna, Bell and the Dragon, Prayer of Anasa, 1st Maccabees, 2nd Maccabees. These are the apocryphal books. They are the apocrypha. And the Roman Catholic Church removed these books from the Bible. The apocrypha was at, was at one time, in the 1611 version, it was, it was the apocrypha. Those books were between the Old Testament and the New Testament. They were in the middle. Roman Catholic Church removed those books out of the Bible by way of the Bible Destruction Group. You can Google that, that platform and see how they had changed and taking out things from the Bible, okay? So we just want to cover one more thing, and then we're going to close this video out. And that's Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12, okay? Uh, Acts 4 and 12. Acts, Acts 4 and 12. 4 and 12. Okay. All right, Acts 4 and 12, okay? All right, now. Acts 4 and 12, let's just switch this. Uh, we're going to hit that and switch it to the standard KJV. We're going to remove those that archaic English, so it would be a little bit easier for most of us learning and speaking English to understand. Acts 4 and 12, okay. Let's go to 11. This is the stone which set at the north of your buildings, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men by whereby we must be saved. So there is only one name given under heaven by which we must be saved, and that's Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of our Father, our Creator, 
In ancient Hebrew, Yahweh Shai is the name of our Lord and Savior, our Rock, our Redeemer, in ancient Hebrew. And we must go through, the, we, we always say Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, because we must go through Yahweh Shai to get back to the Father, pursuing to John 14 and 6. Okay? Um, that's all I want to say. I just want to do a little quick video on that. So, name of my Father is Yahweh. And also, let's get John 5.43 right quick, because that's going to do some, some good justice there. John 5.43. John 5.43 says, John 5.43 says, I am come in my Father's name, yet and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Let's get that in another, in another, uh, let's get the New Living Translation. translation. Um, let's, let's pull that same, let's read that same, same scripture. John 5.43, and it reads, For I have come to you in my Father's name, and you have rejected me. Yet if others come in their own name, you gladly welcome them. See, that's God coming in the name of a God. That is incorrect. A God is a place, thing, or idea. God has a name. What is his name? He says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it for you of my Father which is in heaven. So what is his name? So obviously, again, as he says in the beginning of that precept, I have come in my Father's name. I have come, I have come, I have come to you in my Father's name. The Father's name is Yahweh. Yah means He is. Hawa, He is, He exists. He is to be, He is to become. Yahweh Shah, Yah is, He is. Yahweh Shah, our salvation, our deliverer, our rock, our redeemer. Okay, it actually means He He's our salvation. Okay, so again, Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. I've come in my father's name. You can't get God, Jesus out of God, save your life. It's not gonna happen, Captain. You can try, you can do it backwards, you can try to do God out of Jesus, not gonna happen, Captain. Because Jesus is actually Iesus. Iesus means Hail Zeus in the Greek language. Zeus! Again, as you saw in the scripture that I that I pulled up earlier, um Apollon. Apollon is Satan's name in the Greek. Apollon. Now now watch this now. Apollo, Zeus, Venus, Aphrodite. Is this making sense now? Isn't that Greek mythology? Mythology? Myth is a lie. That's not even the truth. John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let's pull that up and we're going to close. We're going to close. Not going to make this video long. It don't need to be long. Okay. Okay. Again. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Yahweh Shah told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Okay, again, think about it. Abaddon, think about it. Apollo, his name in the Greek. Let's pull that up right quick again. And I'm going to definitely close out. Hebrew, uh, Hebrew tongue. Hebrew tongue. Hebrew tongue. Okay. Hebrew town. All right. Uh, it's in the King James Version. We're going to tap on that right quick. There are only six scriptures with the Hebrew tongue in it. And where's there it is. Revelation 9-1. 9-1. Emergency. 9-1. 9-11. <laughs> and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. You know you're talking about the devil. You know you're talking about Satan right there. Whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue, his name is Apollon. Again, Zeus. Apollon, Apollo, 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 Aphrodite, Venus. All those are Greek gods. And we know that the gods of other nations are idols pursuant to Psalm 96 and 5. Let's get that and then we're really going to be done. Um, serious this time. For all the gods of the, for all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. That's right. You know, Zeus. Zeus ain't never. Zeus is a is a myth. Is a mythological creature. Myth is lie. Myth. Myth is folklore. Myth is a story. Is a legend. There's no truth to it. Zeus has never walked the earth not a day ever. Zeus ain't never stick his finger in his nose to pick nothing. Zero. Okay. That's it. I hope you all were edified through this through this quick lesson. 
All my information I was able to pull up came from the Blues Letter Bible. Dot all because it has a built-in strong concordance in it, so we can stump, so we can study the word pursuant to Second Timothy two fifteen, as well as the Apocrypha, which you can find at King James Bible Online dot org, and it has the just go to the top of the screen, hit sixteen eleven version, and it will list the Apocrypha, which are which are the hidden books of the Bible, uh, removed from the Bible by the Roman Catholic Church by way of the Bible Destruction Group. You can Google all that information. I hope you were edified by this video. And with all that being said, call Halayi Lami Hao, by Shimmy of Asha, by Shimmy Kakadash, by Kataya Hao, by Kataya Hao Asha, double on the elders and apostles, great millstone who rule well, who pushed this gospel to the four corners of the earth, pursuant to James 4, Shalaki, pursuant to James 1 and 1, for the Israelites, the children of Israel scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth. Say it is to hopeful let. Shalom.